even before a family is pushed out of their home, uh, they report having poorer health than families who are not facing evictions. So when someone is facing an eviction, them or their families report higher rates of high blood pressure, diabetes. When your housing is unstable, that can lead to sleep deprivation, which can lead to a slew of emotional, cognitive, and physical health issues, particularly for young children who are just in a more vulnerable state of being generally. Their immune systems are still developing and they're still growing, and so their brains are still developing as well. And so when you have a child in an unstable housing situation, that disadvantages them and their health, not just during that period, but for the rest of their lives. Yeah, and you know, I think of a lot of studies that I've seen where they're looking at the effects on children of moving under any circumstances, right? right? Just like, if you move in the middle of the school year because your parents got a new job and you're moving to a bigger house, yeah. you still see negative effects, right? Like in terms right. of learning loss, in terms of stress. I moved with, um, like when my daughter was four, we moved to a bigger house because it was the pandemic. And we only moved five minutes away. We didn't disrupt our care networks. She didn't lose any of her friends. Mm. Everything's still very familiar. But we couldn't walk near our old house for about a year because she'd break down in tears. Mm. That was a move in like the best circumstances you could hope for. Right. And you just imagine what the effects are when this is happening in the worst circumstances that a family can go through and how much harder that is for kids where, you know, everything we know about kids, what do they need? Security. Yes. Stability. stability structure. Yes.